Good afternoon ladies and gents and we've arrived at today's location which is St Mary Abbey Church. It was a bit of an ad hoc one today, this whether it would be open or not. So join me inside. And what a stunner that is. Can't be long in this one guys and girls because the Holy Communion starts in 10 minutes so the main thing with this though is the dome so, look at you looking at some of the stained glass and such it's a beautiful church Some very fine memorials and the organ and such. I will say the best thing to last, which is the, the dome in this one. High altar. I usually save that till last, being the best thing normally, but the, this one is the dome, so. You'll get a much better look at that when we finished. Mr. William Arnold, like this parish. I won't read them out because I haven't got that long, but you can read them because these are very clear, these ones. These are really, really well preserved, these, I must say, the inscriptions. <laughs> this one's a little bit damaged. That's okay, we can forgive it that. This one's got a good coat of arms on it, look, that'll be the family's coat of arms. Mr. George Fellows, citizen and haberdasher of London. So he'll be in, he'll be a member of the of, of a guild. Deputy alderman of Ye Ward of Vintry of Susanna Fellows. Hmm. Interesting one that. Here we have. That's the one I checked, wasn't it? Yeah, so. There you've got the Arms of London, which is the unicorn. And the lion. Let's take some pictures of those while I'm filming. This is the high altar. The pulpit. And these here, as I've said before, are sword rests. Where the mayor and guild masters and things like that, who would sit at the front being most prominent, would put their swords. There's another one on this side here. That's beautiful. Here, yeah, an extremely old Bible there. I was told to look out for that one. My friend Carol, who's the church warden of St. Margaret's Barking, she's visited, I think, every single one of the London churches, and she tells me what to look out for, where, what I will find interesting, or what she thinks I will find interesting. This is the benefactors' boards, as I've said before in my previous visits to churches. There was no welfare state in those days, it relied on the 
benefactions of and kindness of other people. Take a picture of these quickly. Oh, there's the lion and the unicorn. And this one. Oh, I can't see the unicorn on that side. There we are. <coughs> right, we're at five minutes odd now, so nearly done just focus on some of other things sorry I'm having to be quick with this one guys and girls but Holy Communion starts soon and you know I don't ever feel more like to interrupt a church service just initials on that one oh gosh, let's go down this one, sorry 1693 and 1699 these are really well preserved I must say stunning thing about this church is beautiful. Wow. That is beautiful. Truly beautiful. And that's where the rich people would have sat up there. The wealthiest people. Guys and girls, 
Ah, excellent, this is what he's after. Church in the city of London. It's stood on this site since the 12th century. And since that time, prayer and praise have been offered within its walls. The current church is complete. So I knew it was a Wren church, yeah, there we are. Now we get a better look at the outside of the church. This one is only open on weekdays. It's when I think it closes at 2 or 2.30. 2 Just type in St Mary Ab Church on Google and it will come up with the opening times and such like things. Ab Church Yard, leading to Sherborne Lane. So we shall have a look this way, wait till these gentlemen go and then I'll carry you back on. Here we go, around the back of the church. This church is dwarfed by all the buildings around it and all the noise that you can hear is more buildings going on which are big tall ones apparently, which will dwarf this building even more. Ab Church Yard we're in. Shoreborn Lane, which is just behind me, which is this lane here, which is now all this building work and everything would have once upon a time the, the churches were the tallest buildings around and people could tell their way around by church spires. But now you're hard bent to spot the church spires in London. And this F. Smith thing has become a convenient ashtray but it would have been a water point at one point a lot of churches had water pumps and uh, parish pumps at them done in the very old days because they believed the holiness of the place would sanctify the water and keep it pure of disease that was the main reason in an age where drinking water could, could literally kill you they were very careful of it I like these bikes you are going to have to excuse the the noise, this is what, where we are. And there's a good history wall around here. Oh, have your Christmas carol service. So I'll look into that because uh, on the 29th of December this year, this page is exactly one year old. So, Christmas last year, I wasn't doing any of this and I missed all the best things of Christmas and everything. This is a history wall and we'll start at the end of it and work our way around this man to go. The Royal Philosophical Society is here, this is what I wanted to show you as well. I mean look at the, uh, you get a picture of that for sure. Oh, show. Yeah, this is the Royal Philosophical Society, this is. Um, sure, no, can't, that's better. There we are, I'll take a picture of that now. But yeah, the architecture of many of London's buildings is very nice. The Royal... God, Philatelic Society, <laughs> have church name. Oh, it's not the Royal Society, it's the Royal Philatelic Society, whatever that is meant to be, I have no idea. But yeah, it's a fine building, press the bell on the panel to go in. Yeah, just some of that, look, you can see. Beautiful buildings. What's it like inside? Yeah. Anyway. 
Here we are. But yeah, back to the, sorry, back to the history walk. It starts all the way up here. Right. We're transforming Bank Station to improve your journey. So this is what's being built. This is what the noise you can hear is all the rebuilding of Bank Station. Abchurch Lane. Just pause to read these guys and girls because I can't stop and do everything because I've got a fair bit I want to do today. Besides, the sun is shining literally right into my eyes and Thomas Gresham he founded the um, Royal Exchange. Gresham, if you see pictures of grasshoppers that I take, it's a kind of name, a pun upon the name Gresh, grass. And they're a symbol of Thomas Gresham. Making damn sure that nothing uh, comes down here and soaks me. Christopher Wren, here we are, one of my favourite historical Londoners. I'm going to get right out of the way of this. There we go. St Mary Abchurch. Sorry. There we are. So, as we read earlier, there's been a church on this site since the 12th century that was damaged in the, or destroyed in the fire. This rebuilt by Sir Christopher Wren. Thomas Gresham. If I stand here, I can get a little bit out of the way then. You see, this is a fairly awkward one because this is one of the busiest routes in London at the moment, especially with all this building going on. Bank Station. That's what's being rebuilt now. It's the man himself, this is Thomas Gresham. Right. It just goes on again to say the same thing in that. But yeah, there we are. You have the Church of St. Mary Ab Church. I'll get further back to try and get the bell tower. It's quite nice actually. It's just a tricky one to get to nowadays. There we are. That's better. Right, and I'm sorry that one was a bit rushed, guys and girls, but uh, the Holy Communion service starting and that, you know, I never filmed during the church service, and I know some people prefer the shorter ones anyway, so there we go. Right, hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Thanks very much for watching. This is one of London's guild churches, and uh, it's only open for a short time on certain days, so tap it in on Google. St Mary Ab Church and you'll see. Thanks for watching everyone, take care.